Spice and Ice is known for its North Indian cuisine, but with a modern twist. Sure, you'll still find your favourites here, like your butter chicken and your beef vindaloo, but what makes this restaurant stand out is the extensive range of local produce that are used in its cuisine, and it's a remarkable view list. Being an Indian restaurant, people expect certain traditional dishes of me, and, uh, and I love to go to the market and pick up the local producers to make a bit of a modern twist to my food, stating the game meats or the birds, or like camel, quail, uh, modern day parks or anything and give it a bit of an Indian flavour to it? Mm -hmm. Well, most definitely because even, even the presentation is different to what I'd normally see in an Indian restaurant, like the, the floating fish, for example, or the Christmas tree, is that what you called it? Yes, uh, <laughs> some of my guests call it Christmas tree and it's just a basic chicken drumstick and Indian marination barbecued in clay oven. And this is the equipment or shall I say the, the plates are straight from India? That's right, uh, they're called thali. That's the traditional way to eat Indian food. People usually like to eat various curries together and that's the way they, they have two or three, even at home, they eat with two or three different types of curries at a time. And this to me looks like tempura, but it's not. Yeah, you can call it tempura, but it's an Indian style tempura. We call it pakora. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference is we use chickpea batter and it's an asparagus pakora. Uh, and again, there we went a bit different. Instead of onion bhaji, we, we can call it asparagus bhaji as well. And this dish here? That's uh, one of our signature dishes, duck shank masala, which is duck shank cooked in tomato, cashew and cream based sauce. And prawns? That's our go and prawn salad. Uh, What's the dressing? The salad has got yogurt, mustard, coconut milk based dressing and it's basic. Uh, you can use any lettuce but I've used uh, red coral to give a bit of colour to the plate. And another point of difference is your extensive beer list. We've got around about 56 beers on our list so far and which is going upwards. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, the main goal is, you know, Indian food goes very well with beer to, to give it a bit cooling effect. Well, there you go. So Spice and Nice in Port Adelaide on St Vincent Street. You have to check this one out.